Hi, I'm Mrs. Anselm. I'm going to go over different ways to submit assignments in Canvas. Um, the first thing you want to do when you get to Canvas, though, uh, like the very first day, is check on your account settings and make sure that you have Google Drive as a registered service. If it's not on the left hand side under registered service, then you need to come over here um, under other services, double click it so it registers. You may have to sign in with your um, Google username and password. But then once you have it over here, you're set to connect Google Docs and Google Drive with Canvas, which is awesome. So now I'm going to go to my class. I'm going to click on modules. And in the first assignment, we're going to talk about how you could just attach a Google Doc or um, Google Slides in the assignment from your drive. Now you think when you come down here to submit assignment, you think you click on Google Doc or Google Drive, but you don't. You want to click on Google Drive ILT, which is an external tool. And really you do this because it's going to pull up the best version of your drive. You're going to, you want to select the file. Here's your drive. You want to go to the assignment which you've been working on. Perhaps it's an essay or an extended response or something along those lines. Any of these will really work. Then you're going to click attach. Oh, he has that turned in in a different class. Sorry, hang on. It's something that is not going to be turned in in another class. Okay, so I have an attachment. You can see it right here. You can put comments and you just click submit assignment. Okay. And over here, it's just submitted. You see the details, you see the timestamp, and it's that easy. If you um, want to, like maybe you attach the wrong thing, you want to resubmit the assignment, sometimes there's an option up here, depending on what your teacher's decided. Okay, moving along, we're going to go to another, another assignment. We're going to go over three different ways um, your teachers could have you submit an assignment. Um, you could, they could have you write in a, a text entry, they could have you record a video, or could, they could have you upload a file or a screenshot. So we're going to work on that right now. The first one is the text entry. So let's say you had to read a story and do an extended response and your teacher wanted you to just type it right in here in this text entry box. What I would do is I'd actually type it in a Google Drive first, or in a Google Doc, and then copy and paste it. And this is why, because when you're in that um, text entry box, it is not saving until you submit the assignment. So if you happen to get busy or, um, you know, something comes up, you can't, you are going to lose what you've already written. Unlike if you go on a Google Doc and you're typing and you walk away, it's saving everything. So I'm going to highlight, I've written this essay in a Google Doc. I'm going to hit Control C for copy. And then I'm going to go back, let me exit out of this. I'm going to go back and hit Control V as in Victor to paste. And then I would hit Submit Assignment after I made sure that the whole thing pasted in there. Now I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you a couple other options. Another one is Media. Um, you can record a video. Um, it's late at night when I'm doing this. so. Here I am. I just start recording. You'd answer whatever question your teacher wants you to answer in this. Hit finish. And then you'd save it. You can see it attached right here. You can put comments down here and then you'd hit submit. We're not going to submit it just yet because I have one more thing I'm going to go over. 
I want to go over how to upload a screenshot or a file from your computer. Um, this is how you take a screenshot. You hit this like little Windows button, minimizer, maximizer, and then the control at the same time. So I'm going to do that right now. And then you'll see your screenshot. You'll know it took it because it pops up over here. Now, when I go down here to choose a file, I can close out of this. It saves in your downloads. Um, when I click on my downloads, here's the file that I took at 1033 at night. I'm going to hit open. And then now it's attached. Now I'm going to actually, and you can attach several files from your computer. I'm going to click submit. And there's confetti. And that is, that is how you could do a text entry, record a video, or upload a screenshot. Then last but not least, sometimes your teachers will already have used an external tool in Canvas to put what's called a Google assignment and embed it in there. And it's going to look like this. Sometimes it takes a second to load, so you just have to be patient. Okay, this is what it looks like when it loads. We're going to click Open Assignment. Click the link. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh, there's a lag. Sorry, my internet must have dropped for a second. Stay with me. Okay. And this is a slideshow that I had attached to the assignment. You can, it's a copy in your drive, but you can text in this box, or write in this box, not text. And then when you get out of it, remember that it saves. Oh, let me close out of that too. And, oopsie, hang on. There we go. And then, it's in there. You can even click on it and make sure that your change is saved, but it will. And then you're going to hit submit twice, just like in Google Classroom you used to do when you use Google Classroom, or maybe some of you still do. And then you have a clipboard saying you're all set. So those are just a couple of ways that your teachers might have you submit assignments in Canvas. Um, you can add a doc from your drive using the external tool, the um, what is it called? ILT and yeah, the L LTI, sorry, I'm reading it backwards. Um, you can add a text box, you can upload a file or a screenshot, you can make a video and you could just work in a Google doc or a Google slideshow that your teacher has already created for you.